David Smith here with another flipped classroom math video. Today's topic, factoring when A is not equal to 1. This is also called splitting the middle term. Let's get started. Okay, quick review. What does this mean, A not equal to 1? Remember how we have our standard format for these expressions. AX squared plus BX plus C, okay? So this, A not equal to 1, is talking about this term in front of the X squared. So if you have some number out here, you might have to use this technique. Let's take a look at a problem. 8X squared plus 22X plus 15, okay? So we did one of these before in the last lesson, and we found that we had a common factor in all of these three terms, and we could reduce the A term to 1 by factoring that out, and it made it simpler to do the factoring. Unfortunately, this one doesn't have that. There's no common factor in all three of these, much less a common factor that would get the 8 away from the x squared term. So we can't use that technique. So this is an interesting process. You might want to make some good notes for this one. Step one, multiply A times C. So what that means is the A term times the C term. So what we'll get here is 8 times 15, which is 120, which is AC. So now we have this quantity, AC, and we know that's 120. Okay, so we need to remember that because we're going to use it in the next step. Two is find two factors of AC that add up to B. Okay, so remember, B is this number here. Let's just put these up here, A, B, and C. That's not a bad step if you confuse these, okay? So find two factors of AC of 120 that also add up to B. So this is kind of like a product sum type question. So I'm gonna show you those. 10 times 12, that adds up to 120, and 10 plus 12 I'm sorry, 10 times 12 multiplies to 120, but 10 plus 12 adds up to 22, which is indeed our B term, okay? So we did this step. We found those two factors, 10 and 12. Three is split middle term using above factors. So my middle term is 22x. What this means is I'm going to rewrite my expression 8x squared plus 12x plus 10x plus 15. Okay? So this is just going backwards. These are like terms. I could combine them and I'd wind up back here, but I'm splitting that one, so I've written these two factors out. Okay? I'm running out of room. I'm going to do my little arrow and finish right there. Okay? All right. So step four. Finish factoring. So if you remember, previously you had problems that started from this point and you had to finish them. So the way we do that is we find the GCF of these two factored out and find the GCF of these two and factor it out. So 8x squared plus 12x, I have a 4x in each of those. So that becomes 4x times, I'm sorry, yeah, 4x times 2x plus 3. Actually, let's make that a little smaller so it fits. 4x times 2x plus 3. 
So if I multiply that through, I'd wind back up with 8x squared plus 12x. Doing the same here, the GCF of these two terms is just 5. So we get plus 5 times, now if I factor a 5 out of 10x, I have 2x left. And if I factor a 5 out of 15, I have 3 left. Now, yeah, that is a little bit complex, but if you practice it, I'm sure you can get through to this. Now you have a nice little indicator that you're on the right path. These two should be the same. Otherwise, you made a mistake somewhere, or it's not factorable. Um, but right now, they are the same. So I take these guys and bring them down. 4x plus 5. And then 2x plus 3 goes right there. And we're done. Now, if you have the time and you want to check, you can FOIL this expression, and you should wind up all the way back here. Okay. Now, if this was confusing, you might want to watch this explanation again, or uh, perfect your notes. Um, and then once you feel like you have this, then go ahead and continue the video. I'm going to give you a couple examples. OK, let's give you one to try. How about this? 6x squared plus 17x plus 12. And just to review before I turn you loose, whenever you see one of these with, with some number when a is not 1, your first step is to see if you can get that 6 out by factoring it out of the other two terms. In this case, there's no 6 factor in 17, so you're done with that process. You're going to have to split the middle term to solve this one. So pause the video and give it a shot. Okay, let's see how you did it. So step one was AC. Find that. So what is AC? It's 6 times 12. AC is 72. Step two is find um, factors of 72 that add up to 17. In other words, two factors of AC that add up to B. Okay, so let's try that. 8 times 9 equals 72, and 8 plus 9 equals 17. So 8 and 9 are the two numbers that we're going to split our middle term with. So step 3 is going to be 6x squared plus 9x plus 8x plus 12. Now a question might be occurring to you. How did I decide whether to put the 9x here or put the 9x there? And what I did is when I looked at 8x and 9x, I tried to figure out what the best factorization would be with this term. And I noticed that there's a 3 in both of these, so that makes it a little bit more direct. The truth is, you can do it either way and it should work. Okay, so step four is to finish factoring. So what's my greatest common factor in these two? It's going to be 3x. That's going to leave 2x plus 3. And then my greatest common factor in these two is just 4. So that's plus 4 times, what's that going to be? 2x plus 3. And again, we have confirmation that we're doing it right because this is the same as this. If they're not, you've got to drill back in and figure out where your mistake is. Last step, 3x plus 4 times 2x plus 3. Okay, let's do one more example. 10x squared plus 29x plus 21. Pause the video, give that a shot. Step one, AC. That's going to be 10 times 21. 10 times 21. Step two, we need a B. We need to split. Oh, let's finish that. That's 210. Okay, so now we need um, two factors of 210 that add up to 29. So this was a little bit more tricky. But the two factors are 14 times 15, because that adds up to 210, and 14 plus 15, because that adds up to 29. So those are my two factors. Remember, they multiply to AC, because they're factors of AC, but they add to my B term. So here's my two numbers, 14 and 15. 
So 3, I split the middle term, 10x squared plus 15x, and I put the 15 here because 5 is in both of those, and then we have plus 14x plus 21. And this works out well because 3 can be factored out of both of those, okay? So now, we're going to take the greatest common factor out of these two and out of those two. Let's see what we get. So I got a 5x in both of those. 5x times 2x, that would get me 10x squared, and then plus 3, because that would get me back to my 15x. And then over here, I have a 3 in both of those, so that's going to be 3 times... Oh, wait a minute, that's wrong. I said 3 before, it's a 7, right? There's a 7 in both of those. 7 times 2x plus 3. Everybody makes mistakes. The important thing is how to recover and not let it bum you out. And I'm not bummed out. Okay, so check this out. 2x plus 3, 2x plus 3. We're there. These two match. So now my last step is 5x plus 7 times 2x plus 3. There you go. Okay, I have two more for you. But this time, I'm going to put it a little bit more on you, okay? I'm going to give you two examples. I'm going to pause it, and then I'm going to let you work those examples. And then I'm just going to put the answers up there. If your answers don't match, then you're need to, going to need to dig in and check your work. Um, if you still have questions, just reach out, and I'll help you. Okay, first example. 2x squared plus 11x plus 12. Give that a shot, see how you do. Okay, the answer for this one is just 2x plus 3 times x plus 4. Okay, second example. 6x squared minus 5x minus 6. Pause the video, give that one a shot. Okay, your answer is 3x plus 2 and 2x minus 3, okay? Okay, so I decided to have mercy on you. Here are the steps for those last two problems. Here are the answers, because going from the problem, but then I worked through the steps for you so you could see the solutions. If you struggle, just pause the video on this screen and uh, check your work. Otherwise, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, give me a like down below. Otherwise, you can subscribe.